friends, this is Eva again from HCI. I am here uh, today with a few tips on Oichi listening. So here again I am going to talk you through the do's and don'ts of Oichi listening. So the first thing I wanted to tell you is use of the headings. So you know in your answer sheet you will have various headings especially in part A. So as you know, the part A will be an off-taking session. So there will be specific headings and you are supposed to use these headings to guide you. Once you listen to the uh, conversation, uh, you will get 11 poses to uh, read the questions. And this is the time where you have to carefully read the question. So once you read the question, you will understand uh, the concept, then listen to the uh, audio again and you will get an idea of uh, what's going on and you are supposed to pick up relevant information from the audio and write down the notes under relevant headings. So when you write down the notes, please don't go for complete sentences. Instead, you can use note takings. Okay, you can use short notes and uh, either you can even write it as poems. Then again, the second thing, specific information. That is what I said, relevant information or specific information. Read the heading, when you read, you will, uh, you will get the keyword. So look for that particular keyword in the listening and understand it. And write down those specific things. Then, third one, the longer poses indicate the end of the question. So when you hear a longer pose, you can understand that the first question is ended. So that is where you're supposed to stop writing the answer for that particular question. So don'ts. And this is very important, jumping ahead and back. So as you know, the recorded conversation will be following a particular order. So the order of the audio will be like, the first question is uh, followed by second, second is followed by third. So you cannot stop and jump in between like you cannot go back to the previous question or you cannot uh, go forward so always try and look for the right question and write down the answers accordingly then comes part b so here again you're supposed to read the questions carefully unlike the first session in the first session you will only get uh, to uh, take the notes but in the second session you will have a variety of questions like mcqs that is multiple choice questions fill in the blanks, summary completions, uh, flow charts, true or false, you can expect a variety of questions. So it is very important that you have to read the questions before you listen to the audio. Check for the format of the question. Like I said, please check for the format. Like if it is uh, uh, an MCQ or a filling the blanks, okay, understand the format of the question and write or search for the answers accordingly. Then predict the response. While you read the question, predict for or anticipate the response so you will be able to grasp the information faster so please try and anticipate what follows and the don't say is that try to write everything you hear you might have heard this you're supposed to or you can write everything you listen that's true because you don't have negative marks here but that is a waste of time you are going to lose your precious time on writing everything you hear and your answer sheet is going to look messy when you write everything uh, you listen. So try and look for specific information and don't write everything you listen. And these skills will not develop overnight. You need to practice. A daily practice can help you in OIT listening. That's all folks. Thanks.